Hey everybody, what's up? How y'all doing? You ready? Set and start that jog. Welcome back y'all for another ILKB at home workout with me, John. Just go nice, light and easy in that light jog to start things off for today. Hope you all are fantastic guys because we're going to be going into our high knees in three, two and one. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Again, if you got to put those palms out in front of you, certainly may to keep those high knees honest. But again, just pick them up a little bit higher than you normally would in that jogging place. Okay, guys, a little bit higher. That's what we want, guys, just high knees. We're going to go to our butt kickers up next in three, two, one, up and back. I go to the side just to illustrate what those should be looking like. You can lean forward a little bit, place your palms by the booty, kick your heels up and back, okay, into those palms. A few more seconds here, everyone. Keep going. We're going to go back to our jog in three, two, one, and light jog in place. All right. So now that heart starts to pump a little bit harder, getting the blood everywhere it needs to be. So we're going to go ahead once more into those high knees in three, two, one. Pick them up, 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 y'all. Nice and high. Okay, guys, nice and high. Lean back a little bit too, because every time you bring those knees up, you can also do like a little crunch. So if you lean back a little bit, it's a bit more challenging, but you want to work those abs, strengthen your core. That's the way to do it. We're going to go to those butt kickers in three, two, one. Up and back, up and back, up and back, y'all. Okay, a few more seconds, y'all. Then we're going to get into the really, really into the heart of our workout, starting things off simply enough with our fast feet. Okay, guys, keep going those butt kickers, you know. Got about five more seconds. We're going to go into our fast feet in three, two, one. Just a really quick set here of your fast feet. Move them nice and quick, y'all. We're going to be slowing things down in just a bit. You got 10 more seconds of these fast feet, keeping your heels up and off your floors. We're going to be going to our alternating side lunges in three, two, and one. Step out to the right. Doesn't matter if you go to the left, okay? And then out to the left, okay? That's all we're doing. Out to the right and out to the left. When you're coming back, if you want to bring that outer leg across diagonal on your body to get that extra little crunch, you certainly may as well. But all I'm asking for right now is you're going out to the right, out to the left, working those side lunges, opening up those hips. Got about 10 more seconds here, folks. Come on, let's go. Nice and easy. Keep your back straight. Keep your core tight. Let's go into a quick set of our burpees in three, two, one. Burpee out, up, down, out, in and up. That's all I'm asking for. The simple basic burpee that we do here at ILKB. Nothing extra. You got seven more seconds here. And then, of course, we're going to slow it down. Okay, keep going, guys. Burpee out. We have our sumo squats in three, two, and one. So what you're doing, y'all, sitting your feet out to the left and to the right as far as they can go. You're dropping it down. That's it. You should be feeling it right here, kind of in this area. The inside part of your thighs, okay, your hip area. Dropping it nice and low. Okay, stay balanced. Keep those toes pointed as far out to the right and to the left as you're able to do. Okay, slow and steady. Catch your breath, y'all. All right, y'all, keep going. A few more seconds here. Then we're gonna go back to our fast feet. Okay, folks, so let's get ready in three, two, one, fast feet. Move them nice and quick here, guys. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, y'all. That's it. We're doing that set all over again. You got five more seconds here. Let's go to our alternating side lunges in three, two, one, out to the right and out to the left. Okay, so you notice here, we're going between fast and slow things, allowing you to catch your breath, because I'll always tell you all, this is your workout. Manage the pace, manage your speed. Try not to stop or take too long of a break in between. Okay, we try to, try to keep that body moving, keep it going here, folks. All right, a few more seconds. Just a few more seconds, then we're gonna go ahead into a 15 second sprint of our burpees in three, two, and one. Burpee out, guys. Really quick sprint here. 15 seconds of your burpees, up, down, out, in and up. Up, down, out, in, and up. Keep working that, folks. A few more seconds here. Come on, as many more burpees as you can bang out. This is a short period of time I'm giving y'all. Let's go ahead, slow it down. Sumo squats in three, two, and one. Okay, nice and gentle, guys. Again, you're starting from a squat position or standing position. Doesn't matter to me. You're turning your toes out to the left and to the right as far as you can go. Thighs still get parallel to the max, all right, folks? Okay, how's that lower half feeling? Pretty good. Okay, those burpees, all body workout. Slow and steady with those sumo squats. Just a few more seconds, y'all. Okay, then if you can plank up on the, um, something like a small short stool, mimicking the base of a bag, you can. Otherwise, just a regular plank. In three, in two, and one. I'm going to get my feet up here on the ledge. Okay, to mimic that 
bag, and all I want is a solid plank. Okay, catch your breath. Again, if you're not, you can certainly act right off your toes, shoulders back and hips in line, kind of just engage your core. All right, folks, a few more seconds here. Your feet are up or your feet are down. Let's get ready to go into some push-ups in three, two, and one. Get as low as you're able to go. Again, it's not how many you do, it's how many you do well. Try not to let your back curve, all right? You wanna keep that nice alignment in your shoulders, your backs, and your hips. Okay, guys? Get as low as you can. If you don't have that bag and you're working out on your floor, again, the push-up can be done from the knee or the toe, but once more, those hips should be coming down with them as well. All right, guys? Keep that going. A few more seconds. Let's take a little breather. On your back, hip bridges in three, two, and one, guys. Okay, so on the floor, bend your knees. I want you to push your hips upward and hold it for a second, and then release. I try not to go all the way back down, but if you gotta lay flat, that's okay. I just wanna keep my muscles tensed and engaged at all times, but I'm also using this time to catch my breath, because coming off that plank, not easy, guys, not easy. All right, y'all? So keep pushing yourselves here. Work those hip bridges for a few more seconds. And then I want you guys to extend your legs outwards. Shoulder blades up, hollow hold in three, two, and one. Hollow hold now, guys. All right, that's it. Let's kind of hang out here. How y'all doing? Great? I'm doing fantastic. So what you're doing here is that you can point your toes to get yourself to lock your knees out. Okay, you're not letting your feet drop. I mean, you can bring them close to the floor. Try to keep those shoulder blades up as well. I want you to really be feeling it right there in your core, in your ab area, ladies and gentlemen. All right, keep that going. Hold it there for just a few more seconds. Then I want you guys to put your legs straight up in the air for your toe touches in three, in two, and one. Let's go, reach for your toes, reach for your toes. Okay, just pulse up and down. What you're doing here as well is keeping those shoulder blades up, not getting completely flat. You should really be feeling it in your abs. Just pulse. Okay, up and down, small, tight, up and down motions. Try to touch your toes. If you can touch your toes, fantastic. All right, I'm still working on my flexibility. Yeah, I'm always a work in progress, you know, so hey, keep reaching those toes, right? A few more seconds, guys, and then we're gonna drop your legs down and pick them up. That's right. You have your leg lifts in three, two, one. Here we go. Bring those legs down, bring those legs up. Bring those legs down, bring those legs up. It was simple. Not too hard. If you want to add a hip lift at the top, kind of make it more difficult, you certainly may. Okie dokie. Those abs are working. So work those leg lifts. Don't let your feet touch. Manage your pace, manage your speed. I'll always be telling you guys to do that because it's always challenging. This should be a challenging workout for y'all. Keep working it here. And then we're going to be working our one handed mountain climbers. Okay. Not as daunting as it sounds. All right. Let's go ahead in our high palm plank in three, two, one. Here we go. So from your plank position, I want you to bring your right knee up, tap it with the left hand and then opposite. Okay. So here we go. Here's our one handed mountain climbers. That's all slow and steady. Catch your breath. Try to twist left knee touches your right palm and the same thing on the opposite side. Those are the one-handed mountain climbers, y'all, okay? While your body is momentarily on that one hand, one palm, one knuckle, whatever have you, it makes those micro adjustments, okay? So that you're working your abs, working your core. A few more seconds here, y'all. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna let you guys catch a breather. Hollow hold in three, two, one. Hollow hold. Yeah. There we go, guys. Hollow hold. Legs straight out. Take a look at those toes. Kind of relax. We're doing that whole ab set over again. All right, folks? Those abs are really burning right now and you're in your hollow hold. You certainly can bring your knees into your chest just like this. Kind of take it easy, but don't keep them there too long. Keep those legs straight out. Look at those toes for a few more seconds. We're gonna be pointing them straight up. One more time for your toe touches in three, two, and one. Legs up and pulse, and pulse, and pulse it out, and pulse, and pulse and pulse it out. All right, y'all? There we go. Imagine, that's maybe what they sounded like in the 80s. I don't know. <laughs> I lived through it, but I never watched all those videos. Wasn't into all that. But I love kickboxing now, so here we go. Keep pulsing and reaching for your toes. 
and then we're gonna be lifting them up, lifting them down. All right, y'all? It's our leg lifts in three, in two, and one. Here we go, guys. Legs down, legs up. Legs down, legs up. Feet do not touch. Add the hip lift if you want. That's cool too. Keep moving it, guys. Keep it moving. That's all I ask. Keep it moving here, guys. Keep it moving. You got about 10 more seconds for those leg lifts. Then we're flipping it back over into your high pump plank for those one-handed mountain climbers. All right, get your last couple of leg lifts in. Then let's go ahead and flip it over for your one-handed mountain climbers in three, two, one. Again, tap and tap. Take your time. This is slower, guys. All right, nice and easy. Just bring that knee to the opposite hand, okay? Left hand to right knee, right hand to left knee. Slow and steady, slow and steady. This is a much slower exercise, still allowing you to work your body out, but allowing you to, to more importantly, catch your breath. All right, folks, so here we go, keep going. Let's get ready, guys. I want you guys to get back up on your bag or plank it out for me in three, two, one. Back up on your stool or bed frame or stairs, doesn't matter to me, and just plank, okay? Whoo, catch your breath. Again, engage your core. Shouldn't be leaning downwards. Don't want you hurting your lower back. Shoulder back and hips in line, folks, all right? Whether you're doing it off of a raised item or again, simply on your floor, hold that plank nice and tight because we got those push-ups up next in three, in two, and one. Let's go right into your push-ups off that plank. Okay, if you have that raised item, great. If not, standard push-ups, that's okay too, y'all. There we go. These workouts don't have too much equipment involved, but sometimes we like something elevated to just challenge yourself a little bit more. Not necessary, you can just knock out those regular push-ups for me. You only got about seven more seconds to do so. And then we're going into our hip bridges in three, in two, and one, flip it over. Hip bridge, Oof. All right, guys, there we go. Nice, okay. Excellent, y'all. Keep pushing it over. Then we're gonna take it nice and easy on y'all. Ain't nothing too crazy right now. I'm gonna have you guys momentarily flip it over. I want a nice elbow plank, okay? Adding your knee taps in three, in two, and one. Hit that elbow plank. Okay, shoulders and elbows in line. And just simply add your knee taps. You can go one at a time. You can go both at a time, okay? What's happening here, though, is my core is being engaged. Okay, I'm not rolling my hips. I'm really trying to keep my hips as straight and steady as possible. So hang out there, give me those elbow planks with those knee taps. A few more seconds. I want you to come on up on your palms and I want your standard mountain climbers in three, in two, and one. Here we go, regular mountain climbers. Pump those knees up, y'all. Okay, we did the one-handed before. Now it's, this, this should be a piece of cake for y'all. Really easy, bring those knees up one at a time, fast or slow. If you want to make them twisting, you can. I'm not asking you to do so though. Okay, guys, you're gonna stand up, up high, high knee in three, two, and one. Pick it up, 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 y'all. Woo! There we go. Those knees are coming up nice and high. Then I'm doing the jogging portion. It should not be unfamiliar to y'all. Okay, so continue to pump those knees up. You got about 10 more seconds. We're gonna drop it down back into our elbow plank with those knee taps one more time. Okay, folks, so let's get ready. In three, in two, and one. Here we go, back to our elbows, adding the knee taps. Here we are, guys. We are almost done with our warm-up. Okay, folks, just a few more things to do for me. Okay, guys, so keep it going, keep it going. We're gonna go ahead, you're gonna come up to those palms, you're gonna give me those mountain climbers in three, two, one. Here we go, come on up and pump it up. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. We're almost there, guys. Okay, bring those knees up to your chest one at a time. Okay, we're going fast and furious here. We have a high knee sprint to work on, and then a few other things before we finish it off for today. Okay, speaking of which high knee in three, two, one, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Here we go, guys. Okay, have a short AMRAP, short and sweet. I want one push up. I want one froggy and I want one burpee. All right, guys, real, real simple. One push up, one froggy, one burpee in three, in two, and one. Here we go. So we're doing one push up, one froggy, and then one burpee. Okay, it should be very easy. Okay, one push up, one froggy, one burpee, rinse and repeat. All right, guys, one push up, 
one froggy, one burpee, three exercises. You got about 20 seconds remaining. That's all. One push up, one froggy, one burpee, one, one, one. Guys, you are all number one in my eyes. You can do it. Okay, take your time. Don't stop, whatever you do. One push up, one froggy, one burpee. You guys got this. Count y'all down, count y'all down from five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Done. That's it. No, that's not it. <laughs> you guys know what's up. Great job though. Go ahead, grab some water, hydrate. Um, pause the video here. We want to take about five to seven minutes to get a good stretch. Okay, when you come back, press play once more. Your gloves are on. You can get ready to kickbox with me. Okay, folks, I'm going to go ahead, step off screen momentarily, and grab some own water for myself. Uncomfortable silence notwithstanding. All right, guys, so let's get ready. When you're throwing your hooks today, folks, I want you guys to think about one thing, adding that hip movement, okay? So instead of leading with your shoulders, you're actually pivoting from the hips, okay? That'll hopefully help you um, with those hips and to work your pivots incorporated into it. But first, of course, we have our jab cross round, folks, all right? So, spike guard stance, one, two, jab cross in three, Two, one, jab cross, reset, jab cross, reset, jab cross, reset, jab cross. Here we go, y'all. Okay, nice and easy. Jab cross and back. Jab cross and back. Jab cross and back. Folks, there we are. Nice and light. Work your one, two, jab cross. Get that extension, get that rotation, get that pivot happening. All those things working in conjunction with that one, two, jab cross, folks. Okay. Here we go, you're looking fantastical, okay? Some of y'all might be thinking, ah, this is too sedate, this is too pedestrian for me. I'm better, I'm stronger, I'm faster than this. If you're saying all those things to yourself, you'd be right, okay? So why don't we go ahead and amp it up just a bit. Give me 20 jab cross and one push up. I'll do the first one with you, here we go, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I go to my knuckles. I go to one push up and pop up. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Drop it down. Give me that one push up. Off the knee, off the toe. Here we go. About twenty seconds remaining, folks. Give me that twenty jab cross, one push up. We're almost there. At the end of the round, join me with our in between. Exercise if you can. If not, definitely grab your water. Okay, but you should all be able to do it for me, guys. Okay, let's get ready. Finish up with that 20 jab cross, that one push up on our backs, toe touch in three, two, and one. All right. How's the doozy of a first round, huh? All right, guys, we're just pulsing up and down. Your gloves are on. Same deal. Point your toes straight up. Keep your shoulder blades off the floor. And of course, join me do the uh, exercise in between because these rounds are shorter than our standard class round. So if you can, challenge yourself, do the exercise in between. Just got a few more seconds to toe touch. Then I want you guys to stand it on up for your next round. Okay guys, so here we go. We have left hook, right hook, left hook, cross and back. It's all about the hips, okay? Hook, 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 cross, reset, okay? Hook, 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 cross and back. Left, right, left, right is the rhythm. Left hook, right hook, left hook, cross, reset. Left hook, right hook, left hook, cross and back. Again, I want you guys to pay special attention to how those hips are rocking and rolling and moving, okay? So hook, 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 cross, reset. Hook, 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 cross, reset. That's all I'm asking for, guys, okay? Three hooks, one cross, you got this. Less than a minute remaining. Hook, 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 cross and back. Hook, 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 cross, and back. Three hooks, one cross, left, right, left, right is the rhythm. Work your pivots. Feel it from the hip. Hook, 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 cross, and back, guys. You got less, over 30 seconds remaining in the round. I know time flies when you're having fun, so keep working those hook, 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 cross, and back, okay? Work your breathing. Take a nice deep inhale in between your sets. 
Okay, guys, move around, bounce around. Okay, boxers don't stay in one place. So kickboxers should not as well. All right, let's keep going, keep moving. And if you're moving around, take a nice deep breath in between, of course. But don't take too long. Nobody's we'll kind of just walking around like. All right, guys, get right back into it. Hook, 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 and cross reset, y'all. All right, let's get ready. Leg lifts in three, two, and one. Here we go. Lay them down. Lift them up. Saw what I did there. Pretty slick, huh? As those legs came up, I used that momentum to lift my gloves beneath my hips. Okay, I just like to put them there. You can have them out to your sides. There is no wrong place to put those hands, but those legs are moving up and down. How y'all feeling? Pretty good? Awesome. Just a few more seconds for those leg lifts. And then let's get ready for our next round, okay? Get your last couple in and stand it on up in three, two, one. Here we go. Left up, right knee. Left up, hook, hook, and right knee again. Get that? Here we go. With me, guys. Left uppercut. Come back. Right knee. Then I have another left uppercut, right hook, left hook, and then another right knee. Reset and repeat. Left up, right knee. Okay, guys? Up, hook, hook. Right knee again from the top. Left uppercut, right knee. Left up, right hook, left hook, and then a right knee again. Okay, folks, we are going left, right, left. Just alternating to the right sides. Okay, so left uppercut, right knee, up, hook, hook, right knee again. Okay, left uppercut, right knee, left uppercut, right hook, left hook, right knee again. From this angle, left uppercut, right knee, up, hook, hook, and then a right knee again. Woo! All that twisting and turning and knee coming up should be feeling it right here in your core. Left uppercut, right knee, left uppercut, right hook, left hook, right knee again, folks, okay? You got about 20 seconds remaining. Rounds go by so fast, okay? So keep going, a few more seconds here. Left up, right knee, up, hook, hook, right knee again all right y'all less than 10 remaining and it's real simple hope y'all can join me hollow hold in three in two and one this time just a hollow hold Whew. taking it easy on you guys okay don't let your feet drop if you have to bring the knees in if you're grabbing the water perfect that's a-okay as well but just kind of hold keep your shoulder blades up look at those toes keep your legs as straight as possible in your hollow hold, guys, all right? So keep that going. A few more seconds here, you got about 10 more. You can do it, I know you can. Abs on fire, building a stronger core. Okay, in a few moments, you guys gotta stand on up and get ready for the next kickboxing round. In three, in two, and one, here we go. Okay, guys, so next one, left hook, right up, left knee, okay? Then a right front kick, and then another left knee. Reset and repeat, left hook, Right uppercut, left knee, right front, left knee again. Okay, you got that? Watch your foot positioning for those knees, front kick, knee um, sequence, all right? Again, it is a left hook, it is a right uppercut into a left knee, a right front, and then a left knee again. Hook, up, knee, front kick, knee again. All right, folks, keep working it. Again, just simply left, right, left, right, left, alternate between those left and right sides, okay? Hook, up, knee, kick, knee, again, okay? Very, very easy there, guys, okay? Hook, up, knee, kick, knee, left hook, right uppercut, left knee, right front, left knee, again, reset. Keep those hands up, y'all. Got about 30 seconds remaining in the round. Hook, up, knee, kick, knee, again, okay? Want to stay relaxed, stay on the balls of your feet, y'all. Keep those hands up. Less than 20 seconds remaining, folks. You got this. Hope you're having fun. I'm having a ton of fun. Keep working that combination, folks. A few more seconds here. Just a few more seconds. And then we're going into our leg lifts. Okay, y'all? So get that last combo in. Lay it on down. Lift it on up in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Back to our leg lifts now. Hey, familiar exercise. Hello, old friend. This is one of my favorite exercises, too, to work those abs. Love the leg lift. Okay, so challenge yourself. Maybe even play with the speed. Bring those legs up fast. Drop them down slow. It's entirely up 
to you. All right, y'all keep working it. We got about 10 more seconds remaining, y'all. Then we're moving right along. Oh my gosh, round five is coming up. All right, so let's get ready. Fight guard stance in three, two, one. Here we go. Left front, right front, hook, hook. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uppercuts. Gotta play catch up with those uppercuts. You got that? So we have left front kick, right front kick, left hook, right hook, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left and right uppercuts. Okay, love the uppercuts too. Keep those elbows nice and tight. Roll those hips too. Follow that hip action. Okay, working those pivots. Get your whole body involved in this workout, guys. It's your body. Love it. Do the full motion. So you have your left front, your right front, your left hook, right hook, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See how those hips are rolling? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Reset and repeat. Left front kick, right front kick, left hook, right hook, and then ten alternating uppercuts. Go at your own pace. Okay, work those uppercuts, but you should be keeping those elbows bent. Shouldn't be going like this for your uppercuts. No, 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 no. No bueno. All right, guys, left hook. Left front, right front, left hook, right hook, 10 alternating uppercuts. Less than 30 seconds remaining from this point in time. I cannot believe how quickly, how quickly this class is flying by. I really, oof, it's crazy, guys. Okay, so keep it going. Work those front kicks, hooks, and uppercuts, y'all, okay? Just over 10 seconds remaining. Okay, the next exercise will be your toe touch. Very, very simple. Gotta work your abs here, y'all, all right? So, we're gonna get ready, drop it down, work your toe touch in three, in two, and one. On your back, guys. Come on, let's go. Leg straight up and pulse. Pulse and pulse, y'all. Woo! We made it. We made it. So, last and final kickboxing round on deck. You're either grabbing your waters now, you're either doing the exercises, okay? A few more seconds, y'all. Then we're gonna have a lot of fun here for the last and final round. Give it all you got. Give it all you got, give it all you got. Keep rising to the top. Okay, enough singing for me. Got about five more seconds here. Work that final toe touch. Let's get ready for your last and final round, okay? On your feet, folks. Here we go. Jab, cross, right hook, right knee, right Superman. Woo, did you get that? Okay, it is jab, cross, bring that right arm back, right hook, reset quickly. I want that right knee, and then I want your super punch, okay? That right knee is the first component of your super punch anyway, okay? You're gonna wanna hop off that left foot if you can to complete that super punch, all right, guys? In the meantime, jab, cross, right hook, right knee, and super punch. Jab, cross, right hook, right knee, and then super punch, y'all, okay? If you can't, you don't feel comfortable, with that Superman punch, that's okay. Just give me a cross, give me a punch on that right side, folks, all right? And then don't forget, we do have a speed round at the end of this round, folks, okay? So we're halfway through this last and final kickboxing round. Okay, a few more seconds here, and then we're gonna have our speed round. We're all gonna work that speed round, folks, okay? Everybody's gonna do it. Finish strong here, guys. Jab, cross, right hook, right knee, and then that super punch. Just about 20 seconds remaining, y'all. Come on, you can do it. We're almost there, we're almost there. All right, folks, so I'll just give you a little update. Okay, heads up as to what's gonna happen for your speed round. You're gonna be working your levels. I want 10 left and right body hooks and 10 left and right head hooks. All right, folks, 10 left and right body hooks, 10 left and right head hooks in three, two, one. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, pick it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pick it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got ten more seconds remaining, guys. Try to squeeze in one more set. Ten left and right body hooks. Ten left and right head hooks. Keep it going. Keep it moving, folks. You have five, four, three, two, one. Done, y'all. Kickboxing rounds in the bag. You're complete. But one more thing before I let you guys go today. Okay, you can remove your gloves. We got one final bit of conditioning to complete before we can uh, call it a day. Again, you can do this set three, four more times. But, you know, for the purposes of today's workout, we can do it twice. 30 seconds of leg circles. 
and 30 seconds of twisting mountain climbers. So let's get ready, folks. On your backs to start it off. 30 seconds of leg circles in three, in two, and one. You're starting from your hollow hold and all you're doing is rotating. You're pointing your toes, perhaps you're in visualizing that your toes are the point of a pen, a marker, a stylus, something. Okay, that you're turning in one direction. When we go and do this the second time around, I want you guys to turn in the opposite direction. All right, folks, so keep that going. You got less than 10 seconds remaining for those leg circles. Then you're gonna flip it on over to your high palm plank position for your twisting mountain climbers. Okay, and that's happening in three, two, and one twisting mountain climbers. Okay, guys, point that knee to the opposite elbow. Left knee to the right elbow, right knee to the left, folks, okay? So one more time. We're gonna do the set just one more time, okay? But if, again, if you wanna do it two more, three more times just to challenge yourself, it's entirely up to you. All right, guys, so for the purpose of today's workout, we're gonna flip it over this time. Leg circles in the opposite direction in three, two, one. Here we go from the hollow hold. This time now we're going in the opposite direction that you were going from the first time. Clockwise, counterclockwise. I don't know, you tell me. You're gonna keep circling. You're not letting your feet drop. All we're doing is circling and circling and circling here, folks. Folks, okay, you're doing amazing. Just over 10 seconds remaining for this last and final set of our leg circles. Then we're gonna flip it on over. We're gonna complete it and go strong with our twisting mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Here we go, final exercise for today's video. Woo! And I do sincerely hope that you all are getting that knee to the opposite elbow. And I do sincerely hope that you all are gonna maybe challenge yourself to do the set maybe one or two more times. Hey, this is your workout, your body. I want you guys to all just be nice and strong. Okay, folks? So keep on working those twisting mountain climbers. I'm gonna count you all down from five, four, three, two, one, and done. Or if you go right to the third set, go right to it. All right, folks, amazing job today, each and every single one of you. Make sure uh, once the video is over that you do take the time to get a nice comprehensive five to seven to 10 minute stretch up to you. It's very, very important that you stretch. But before I go, let's go three, two, one, two bangs and a clap. All together now, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. See you next time.